let's just skip Christmas, just mind their own business, being terrorized. Are they fucking kidding? Did they not see the video? I guarantee it's on its way. Do you now, Carl Pop? <laughs> Hi guys, so really quick intro, apologies. I was meant to film it afterwards and then change my lip color, so my bad. So I created this eye look for Christmas and a super red lip. So if you wanna see that, please keep watching. I have to apologize in advance because my skin is terrible. There's literally nothing I can do about it. I've really been trying to fix it, but we're just gonna move past it. Just using my wet and wild one. A couple of things I wanna talk about. But the main thing I want to talk about is kind of semi-review of Christmas with the Cranks because it's a Christmas movie that I watch most years but I kind of love and hate it. <laughs> it is nice and Christmassy but there are so many things that I'm like, especially as an adult, I just think how dare you try to make someone have Christmas when they don't want to. Not their fucking civil duty to make sure they have a Christmas party just so you can have a good time. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you ain't the president. I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I've had, hmm, my last video I had some, had some discussions with YouTube. So I thought we'd just get into it. <laughs> I mean, what's your, your guys' favorite Christmas film? Christmas with the Cranks isn't my favorite Christmas film. It's like a Christmas film I watch in between December just to kind of get me in the Christmassy mood. I'm using this Essence ten Tentacle? Really? Tentacle Spectacle brush set. I got it ages ago and I've been meaning to test it out, but they've got like gold. So I just figured, hey, this would be great for like the Christmas videos. They were all individually wrapped, but I'd unwrapped them ages ago. So I got this Ultimate Utopia palette in like the Black Friday sale because this was a limited edition product. Look at these colours, they're gorgeous. These big palettes they do are absolutely amazing and they're normally like 35 quid which seems ridiculous but I mean look all the shades you get. I found it on this care to buy website and it was like 50 odd quid and I'm like 50 quid? Sorry it's not worth 50 quid but it was half price so I figured I'd catch it up and I thought this gold was so Christmassy. I also did my nails like from far away my nails don't look too bad. They always look pretty shit on the first day because I've got all the stuff where I've overdone it. But there are so many holes. <laughs> you know when you think they're dry, so you start doing stuff and then, yeah, they weren't dry. Here's this one, I'll show you here. The pigment, Christmas with the cranks. The last couple of years, it's just been frustrating me and not because there is a specific part in that movie which I really, really enjoy. Part right at the end, spoiler alert, if no one's seen it, there's a part at the end where the husband gives away their um, screws to the couple across the road because his wife's dying and they think it's probably going to be her last, her last Christmas. It's just like really wholesome and that's what I like about Christmas movies. I like that it's wholesome. Like Christmas is about giving, it's about family, it's about love and caring. Yet yeah, the last couple of years I've spent mine like single. This year's no different by the way. Starts off with this couple, the daughter's joined the Peace Corps, uh, so she's been going away for Christmas and they're like it's not going to be the same, it's like 23 years of similar Christmases and it's going to feel wrong without her. Her husband is at work and he's totaling up how much they spent the previous year, like donating to the local charities, getting decorations fixed, Christmas party on Christmas Eve, Christmas itself, all that kind of stuff. Let's go in with this deep shade. We're going with this on the outer corner. He calculates it all up and that night he talks to his wife. He tries to sell her on the idea of, you know, let's just skip Christmas because it costs six grand for them. Who the fuck is spending six grand? What the fuck? He's like, let's skip Christmas and go on a cruise. Hence the cruise at the end. She's not in love with the idea, but she's like, okay, so what's the catch? How much is this gonna cost? And it costs half the price. Straight away, she's like, okay, that actually sounds, you're saving money, that sounds pretty good. We get to like go away for Christmas so we don't have to miss all the kind of bits and pieces of their daughter and their Christmases together. The neighborhood keep coming around, they're like, oh, do you wanna buy, do you wanna buy a tree with $90 and all this kind of stuff? And he's like, no, no, we're not having a tree. Uh, we're skipping out on Christmas this year because we're on this cruise. 
they get specialised cards done every year and um, I'm just taking this through my crease. They're just like, oh yeah, um, you always have like really beautiful cards, you're leaving it pretty late to order and she's like, sorry we're skipping Christmas this year. One of the ones that pisses me off the most is that the wife goes to lunch with her friends. They're like, oh what's this if I hear about you skipping out on Christmas? And they're like, oh yeah, we're going on a cruise instead, so whatever. And they're like, well hang on a minute, what are we meant to do on Christmas Eve? We always go to your Christmas party. And she's like, well, there'll be other Christmas Eve parties. They're like really offended. I want the understanding of, well, first of all, they're gonna miss their daughter on Christmas day. They're just all thinking of themselves. Not every good Christmas film's perfect. That is looking messy out here. They all have this frosty, which is basically this huge, giant fucking snowman on their roofs. And they're like, no, we're not gonna put it up like we're skipping Christmas this year. It's really selfish and they're saying that he's selfish for skipping Christmas but it's selfish of them to expect them to celebrate something. They don't have to. No one has to celebrate it. I'm just gonna put some primer on my lid. The glit like the goldy glitter shade. It's got something to stick to. They end up all terrorizing these people in their house. Next door neighbor and their husband aren't friends, like they're pretty much worst enemies. She sees a bunch of carolers and they're like, oh, are they Jewish? Is that why they haven't got any any decorations up? And they're like, he goes, no, 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 they're just skipping Christmas. And they're like, what? He's skipping Christmas? And he's like, yeah, they definitely need some holiday cheer. Then they literally start singing outside and just basically harassing these people. So I'm going to take the really gold shade. Sing like a ton of songs for a while and then it all of a sudden stops. And they're sitting in their living room, just minding their own business, being terrorised by their fucking neighbours. Like, I thought my neighbours were bad, bloody hell. Take this shade. This is like, this is like Natasha Denona, like, a couple of, you know, amazing gold shades all over the place. Middle see any difference. Take like a darker shade I think. Focus that on the inner corner. Uh, just sitting there quite happily. One of them's reading the other one's knitting and then they literally just turn up at their window and start singing carols directly at them and it's just so disrespectful. My husband takes a little far because he's literally getting Botox and stuff. They get spray tans and then they get accosted in the mall, their priest or something. Where they're coming from because it's like a neighbourhood thing. But at the same time, you need to respect people's wishes if they don't want to celebrate something because it could be that it's very upsetting to them that they can't celebrate it with their family, with their daughter, and they just don't want to celebrate that, that specific holiday this year. Just don't pester them, it's so rude. Take this shade, that. They just kind of meld the two. Blend it lightly. I think I'm very excited I got over Christmas is all this thing. I don't know if you guys recognise this. Well, amazing packaging. Like, it comes in a Ziploc. Finally got my hands on, on Linda Halberg palettes. I have been wanting to get these for such a long time. But they're like 50 quid each. And again, Black Friday. They had like, they actually had an after Black Friday kind of sale. This one. This one. These are definitely more toppers. I swatched them yesterday. You have like an extra glint all over. Perfect like little holiday quad. I'm actually gonna use powder foundation today because I've been preferring powder foundation, but I am gonna cover all of this up using my No Problem Primer. That, that movie it all changes pace when the daughter phones up literally a couple of days before Christmas and says, oh yeah, I'm coming home for Christmas and I'm coming home with my new boyfriend that I've been dating for like, six weeks proposed and I'm gonna marry him and all this kind of stuff. But he's never seen a Christmas before so I've told him all about Christmas Eve, Christmas party. I've told him about the whole entire street has Frosty on their roofs. Using the One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer by Catrice. I always do this like even though I don't have any spots on this side I'm just trying to even it out. They end up dropping everything. The necessary Christmas stuff, putting up a Christmas tree for their daughter right? Which is sweet but at the same time it's kind of 
just to assume, oh yeah, I can just turn up for Christmas even though we weren't expecting you. A bit presumptuous, you know? Given any notice at all. So there's this whole adventure of then, like, literally the Christmas, it being Christmas Eve and then having to get, like, a ton of stuff, trying to get a tree at last minute, you know, trying to get her favourite foods, which are basically all out of stock because they've left it so late, right? And they pissed everyone off because God forbid she'd want to do something different for Christmas. The whole neighbourhood comes round and says, you know, we're doing this for Brooke. We'll help get you uh, all the necessary stuff for the Christmas party. We'll get the house looking all festive. No, they you know, the husband's pissed them off. It's meant to be like a nice ending, you know, where she comes home for Christmas, thinks that no nothing's happened. But really, they turn around and say, you know, thank you so much for helping us, we couldn't have done it without you, neighbours and everything, right? The ending's nice, like the, they're working together, help out and all that kind of stuff, that's nice. But it's just their attitudes before that that really frustrated me. If someone wants to spend Christmas, doesn't particularly want to ce celebrate it this year, they should be allowed to skip it. They should, like, it's their choice. I know they're characters, don't get me wrong, but it was just really bugged me. Using my new Locket blotting powders. Not my favourite film, obviously, because I feel like even though I love the ending, there's so many parts in it where I'm just like, really, you suck. Do you guys have movies like that? My other kind of movies that gets me into the Christmas spirit is Just Friends, like I love that movie. I'm using the KVD. I got a ton of stuff because it was all, oh my God, it was all on offer. So I figured, hey, I may as well try it. Got it all from Debenhams and Debenhams are currently going under or something. So I was like, well, if I can help out in any way. This looks so pale. I got Fet 110. We've been a bronze, don't worry. This is pretty much my skin colour. After I watched Christmas of the Cranks, I was sorting through um, makeup that I got for free. Not from PR or anything, but you know when you buy makeup and then they give you a load of freebies? And they're like, oh yeah, you spent over a certain amount, we'll give you a couple of extra things. Elf does that. Revolution. Makeup Revolution, they used to do that quite a lot. And it's just stuff I don't, I will never use. Sorting stuff like that out, like a charity bag. Oh, this is not covered very well, has it? Like this, like. I think it's just because I have a lot of like red, where I picked it. This is not powder foundation's fault, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad on camera. You bronzer. I mean, I wanted a really nice warm with a little bit of shimmer bronzer in it so I picked up my Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer. I hardly ever use this. I'm gonna mix these together. A Christmas movie just has been bugging me the last couple of years. Santa Claus still holds pretty true. I like it. I like it a lot. Christmas Day is Polar Express. Polar Express is my favourite. Some people hate it because of the animation. Animation is a li little too realistic. It also finds, I think it's in Canada, they have a Polar Express train. I so want, so want to go on that. I'm using my Hula Light, using the brush it comes with. I received an email so early in the morning. Well, to be fair, it was really late at night, so I saw it early in the morning. It said that my video, my I'm shocked and appalled video, which is about a Russian streamer accidentally killed his girlfriend and apparently sex and nudity on the thumbnail i didn't realize because i was so tired that it said thumbnail i thought it said video a video has been taken down i think actually the content of the paragraph might have said my video has been taken down which is why i panicked and went to my youtube studio which is you can see all of your how many views they have how many likes they have comments analytics all that kind of stuff. I had a look and it was still up and I was like oh it's fine. I switched to my secondary account just to see if maybe I could see it but maybe other people couldn't and no it was up it was fine. Because the I wanted a gold highlighter so I grabbed the elf glow highlighter in golden. I feel like it smells like coconut. Oh, it smells so good. I use a fan brush in such a long time. I tweeted YouTube today I'm not sure what's going on um because they did say in the email that they took it down, but they didn't give me a strike because it, you know, I might just not have noticed, especially it was my like first defense or whatever. I contacted them and they came back to me pretty quickly, I will say, I was very surprised. They said, we can see that your th your preferred thumbnail has been removed. I'm gonna use the 
uh, Everlasting Blush. This is in Honeysuckle. Again, this is from KVD because I've been trying this stuff out. Be like natural looking blush. I get no fallout. Very odd. I checked and I realised, oh yeah, yeah, no, it's the thumbnail. And when I rechecked the email, it does in bold say thumbnail on shocked and appalled. What made me laugh in a way, in the email, it said that using the community guidelines there, there is to make sure that YouTube was a safe place. Something to that effect anyway. Are they fucking kidding? Did they not see the video? I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'll come back for eyes and lips. I used the Catrice Brow Definer, which I've really been enjoying. Full brow, brow fiber mascara, which I did a whole review on, I'll put it here. That brown. It's talking about eyeshadow. The other thing that I am annoyed about, I was genuinely in tears yesterday. I think it was the expectation and being so disappointed. I actually may never get this product. So, like the deep shade now, just really close to my lash line. I bought the Raw Beauty Christie collection when it first dropped. I had it ordered and I used a mixture of this one, this one, a little bit of this one. I'm going to drag that down a little bit as well. I noticed my order hadn't moved since the 17th. Now, I ordered it on the 15th. By the time I contacted them, it was like early December. When it arrived in the UK, it should have been scanned and therefore shown my tracking, but no, it apparently hadn't moved since the 17th. So I actually contacted DHL first and I just said, look, is there like an outbreak in that specific area? If so, I understand why there's a delay. I didn't hear back, so that's when I contacted Colourpop. I still had an auto reply because it hadn't been within the allotted 17 to 21 working days, they say. I basically just got an auto email saying, don't worry, it happens all the time, that things forget to be scanned and it looks like your parcel's been missing, but don't worry, we guarantee it's on its way. Do you now, Carl Pop? I'm gonna curl my lashes and then put some mascara on. I'm not gonna freak out. It's just, things are slow anyway at the moment. My raw mail at the time was slow. I didn't even say, where is it? I just said, could you contact DHL? Which I didn't answer because it was an auto reply. Let's use Pat because I think I'm gonna wanna take a picture with this. And maybe with my Christmas tree, we'll see. <laughs> Redo my Christmas tree because Casper ruined it. Because it's like, it's a fake Christmas tree. The branches kind of move. And he climbed on it when I was asleep, like three or four days in a row. Even though I'd, I thought I'd kind of trained him to stop doing it. Everything kept falling off. The branches were completely falling down. All the lights had kind of fallen off of their branches so I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So I was like, you know what? I just need to spend some time redoing the whole Christmas tree. I contacted them on the, when the 21 days had been up and said, look, it still hasn't moved and I still haven't received it. Again, I think it was pretty much an auto reply. It looks like it's been lost. So we can either refund you your money or we can um, send you replacements. But if your replacements are out of stock or with limited edition, basically there's nothing we can do. You'll just get a refund for those items. So this was so upsetting because one, I'd waited such a long time for this. The fucking parcel just get lost. If I had to pick the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliners are the things I was most excited about, but the whole collection's gorgeous. The day I contacted Colourpop about this thing was the day the second drop was. So I thought, okay, so if I'm lucky, if it doesn't sell out ridiculously quickly, if it takes a couple of days, I might be able to get a replacement. No, it sold out within seven minutes. I even put a huge thing on my Instagram and was just like, I'm so disappointed. I'm actually even more annoyed that Jeffree Star spoke about stuff like this where customers receive broken fucking palettes and they keep enough stock back for those kind of queries and stuff but Colourpop clearly doesn't do that. So shit, honestly. So fucking shit. It makes me not want to buy from Colourpop again because of the way they've dealt with this situation. It's just so cold. I ordered some Kiko products but they've also been delayed but they are on the way. <laughs> I had a matte red lipstick in it which Mm, it looked so perfect for this look. I do have some red lipsticks. These are the three shades. These are actually two Kathleen Lights Colourpop ones. <laughs> I think it has to be this one, right? This is probably the closest, to be fair. I thought it was more orangey red, but that's like a perfect Christmas red, right? This is 
lucky star. I hope people that enjoying their Robbie E. Christie palettes and everything. I haven't been able to watch a single review because it was gonna be good, but I didn't wanna spoil it for when I received it. And now I don't watch, want to watch them because I feel like I'm just gonna get more upset. I'm gonna let this dry and then I think I'm gonna go around the edges with some concealer. That is my very festive gold and red lip. I hope you guys like this video, this kind of like chit chat, semi film review <laughs> kind of thing. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you feel like it. I would really, really appreciate it. I try to mix it up between makeup and commentary videos. So if you like either of those, if you like that content, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Have a lovely Christmas. Bye.